Hey everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. Today's video, I am super excited because I have been upgraded to the Ipsy Glam Plus. Ipsy Glam Plus, it's $25 a month and you get five full-size products. And I believe the box retails for over $120 or $130. I think it's a way for Ipsy to compete against BoxyCharm, which is $21 a month and you get four to five full-size products. Or you can just have the Ipsy subscription which is $10 a month and you get four to five deluxe sample size and sometimes some of the products can be full size like a full size brush or nail polish before we jump in I just want to let you know I have already applied some foundation to my face so apologies in case if I get a face primer like in my last ipsy I got the benefit professional and I had already applied my makeup so I couldn't use it in my video for reference I use my cover FX blurring primer then I use the Smashbox studio skin foundation. I'm really excited. Here we go. Here we go. Ah! Ooh, blue foam. So the box is kind of falling apart. Ooh, oh my gosh. What? So this little card, it says Happy New Year Ipster. Ring and fierce with your January glam bag plus. Ooh, look at the card. I love it. Okay, so we have some products on the front and then the remaining are on the back. And it looks like we got a good mixture of skincare and makeup. I'm gonna start off with the two skincare products that I received. So the first product I received is the Hey Honey Good Morning Honey Silk Facial Serum. I have used maybe one product by Hey Honey and it was some eye cream and I received that in an Ipsy many glam bags ago. And I love trying out new products that I have not really used much from the brand. I have been on a hunt to find a good serum. The one I've been currently using right now in my routine is the Sunday Riley Good Jeans, which I like, but I'm not sure if that's like my holy grail serum. So it's a light, luxurious serum, and you can use it under your makeup as a primer. It replenishes and protects your skin so you are ready to take on the day. For me, I've only used my serums at night. I am interested to see how this works in the morning, maybe just some extra moisture and this is good for all skin types. I am going to see if it's gonna be very hydrating because I do have dry skin. For serums, a lot of them have either felt like water or they just don't really do anything. It actually dries out my skin, then it's helping my skin. I'm gonna open it and I just wanna put a little bit on the back of my hand. Ooh, this is one fluid ounce, that's pretty good. And this retails for $45. I don't remember if I've said that, I'm sorry. Let's just put some. Ooh, and this is what it looks like on the back of the hand. It kind of looks like honey. Hopefully it's just not sticky like honey. Okay. Ooh, it is super lightweight, but it's going right into the hand. And my hand feels super soft compared to this hand. It's soaked in. It's not sitting on top of my hand. It doesn't really have much of a scent to it. That feels really nice. So I will start incorporating this into my routine in the mornings. And then the second skincare product I received in my box is the Murad Acne Control Skin Perfecting Lotion. I am a huge fan of Murad. I have quite a few of their products in my everyday skincare routines for both morning and night. And I really love the Acne Control products. I use the cleanser, especially like when my skin goes out of whack, kind of scarring up from that, my bad. And then I also use the spot treatment, which helps a lot, especially when I have hormonal acne or stress acne, I like to apply that at night and it really helps shrink the pimple and get that bacteria out. I have not tried this yet. Let's open it up. I'll put it on this hand. Ooh, okay. And this is 1.7 fluid ounces and it retails for $40. That's a really good deal and it's more than I paid for the Glam Bag Plus. I'm gonna just put a little right there. It feels nice. It feels cooling and I'm not sure if that's because it's cold outside right now, but ooh. It doesn't feel greasy and it just goes right into the skin. It's just not sitting on top and there's not a fragrance to this, which is nice because some fragrances, I am a little sensitive to fragrance in some of my skincare. It's not as hydrating as most moisturizers are because I use the Tatcha Water Cream and the Elemis Pro Collagen Morning Cream. It's a lightweight, oil-free moisturizer that provides shine-free hydration for blemish-prone skin. I don't really 
see much of a shine. I know a lot of moisturizers tend to give a shine. Usually for me that indicates that I'm getting oily. I would have just liked to see a little bit more hydration. I do have acne prone skin, but it's dry. And then you have others who are acne prone skin, but oily. So I think this is accommodating more oily skin. I guess I'll try it when I have like another major breakout or when it's that time of the month and I'm going to break out. And now we're going to dive into the makeup products. And it looks like we got six products instead of five. So before we jump in, I am going to go on ahead, fill my brows, apply some face makeup, and then we'll dive in since these are eye products and a a lip product. I just want to bronze up really quick with my Bare Minerals bronzer.
Applying eyeliner on my left eye has always been more difficult for me. I don't really see much eyeshadow residue, so I think this is going to be a great eyeliner. I'm super pleased with it. Next, we have mascara. We have the Wander Beauty Unlashed Volume and Curl Mascara, and this retails for $24. I have previously received this product in a BoxyCharm, but I haven't used it yet. And with mascaras, I really need something that's very volumizing and lengthening. I don't really have much lashes. I don't really like drying formulas. Curl isn't as important to me. I don't really need them to curl. It's not my preference because I have hooded eyes. I really just need volumizing and lengthening. And this is the wand. It has like a nice curl to it. It doesn't look clumpy. I think this is focusing more on curl than volumizing, but I barely see a difference between mascara and no mascara. I'm not impressed. I don't want to seem negative about Wander Beauty. It's just I haven't found any of their products that have really worked out with me. Comment below what your favorite Wander Beauty product is because the ones that I've tried, the eye patches, the face palette that we received in BoxyCharm in December, and now this, it's just not the best. I'm trying to go in again with the second coat. Trying, just nothing. Bad day. I think the second coat is helping a little bit. I'll be here for days trying to achieve what I'm trying to look for. Okay, it says volume and curl, and I see more curl than a volume, but still, I don't really see much. Before I completely ride this off, I would want to test it out with my Lancome XL Booster. It's just something I like to use to help really prime up my lashes before applying mascara. And then the last product, we have the Vasanti Matte Crush Lipstick Pencil in the shade It's Your Mauve. I like that instead of It's Your Move. Yu-Gi-Oh reference, okay. I'm gonna be by myself on that. And this retails for $23. I'm excited because I love mauve shades. I'm just geeking out because it's called It's Your Mauve, and I'm just gonna be saying that now for the rest of the day. We're gonna do a little swatch. Ooh, fuck. It's just so pretty. Like, I love these shades so much. We are gonna apply. You know, I don't really use many lip crayons. I just don't grab it towards these, but this was super creamy, and I freaking love this shade so much. So I definitely feel like I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this. That's if it shows up on my lips good. I am obsessed, not gonna lie. It's super creamy, it's non-drying. It, it says it's a matte, and it does not feel drying like a matte. I don't think I've heard of this brand before, Vasanti. I'm gonna need like 20 of these shades and then one of every other shade to try. Let's just see how matte it is. I'm gonna kiss the back of my hand and see the transfer. So for a matte, you know, that's kind of transferring. I wouldn't really expect much to transfer from a matte. It's not the end of the world. It's still on my lips intact. You know, I can't really tell that I kissed my hand. The pigment is still on the lips. Like, it doesn't look like I lost much. I like this a lot. This is, oh. So definitely the Ico eyeliner and the Vasanti matte lip crayon were definitely my top two favorite products. They just did so good. So for this being my first Ipsy Glam Plus bag, super, super pleased. I think we got a good variety of skincare products. I got a moisturizer and a serum. That is a decent chunk of your skincare routine. I am pleased to see a brand that I've heard of and a product I have not tried before and then a brand that I use in my day-to-day -day routine but have not used this product yet so it's really exciting to see how these work out for me in my everyday skincare routine. I'm already a huge fan of Violet Voss. This is the mini version of the larger version that I already owned so this is great for travel. I already love how their eyeshadows perform. Oh, well, these fun size palettes are just super cute. <laughs> these two products are completely new for me. I've heard of this brand and I think I have like a mascara so I'm really excited to try that now because this really worked out well for me. Just super, super pleased. Exceeded my expectations in an eyeliner. And then this lip crayon, like I said, I don't really use many. And this color and this formula was just super awesome for me. Especially since I have really, really dry lips. 
that never want to get unchapped. And just to find like a rosy nude mauve shades are just like my big kick right now in a lip color. So this definitely crushed it. And then the product that did not work out for me was this Wander Beauty mascara. I just don't think it did much for me. And I don't want to sound negative against a brand. It's just I haven't found a product that has really worked out for me. I'm still open to try all of their products just to see what will work out for me. I am still holding out for you, Wonder Beauty. Let me know if you're subscribed to Ipsy Glam Plus and what you got in your box. This concludes today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy Ipsy, unboxings, first impressions, any of the amazing brands that I mentioned. Comment below what your favorite product was. Please make sure you're subscribed before you leave and I'll see you in the next video.